Marshall Clone. You can actually get like pretty much really close. Look how much fucking AP he's got. Uh, you can fire or get to safety. I think our best bet here is to maybe get to safety. And then finally we've got Lucia. Here, let's get her right up behind the wall. Oh, it took Zephyr out. Good proper. <laughs> Alright, price. Got a gauge eye. Plus, when I go back to the machine farm, you know, I can now heal Zephyr. For free. Alright, so let's find out if it was all worth it. Then activate a. Uh, Photon Churner. Tinker's head. This head is a female simp. She has survived the death of Cochise only to die in Colorado. A lot of scrap. A bank actuate. Alright, let's go see. Quickly trek back to the machine commune and see if it was worth worth it or not, I guess. So I think the way back to the machine commune and heal my characters. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. They don't want to attack me. They don't dislike me. And um, from what I see on the reputation markers, um, they don't even have a reputation to worry about. So, uh, on the way back, however, in the same area where we just had the fight with Wasserenheim, oh, that sin, there is now a thousand Growler Cups. So, we haven't fought them yet, so let's have a bit of a slap up with them, shall we? Let's get everybody in the correct position first. So, Zephyr, you can go up here. Price, you can go here. Marshall Quan can go here as well. I'm going to switch it back to his AR because he's running low on energy cells. Price has got a fuck ton of ammunition left. This is explosive. I just noticed. So it doesn't do much damage, but at all. But has a larger radius, so we can flick between the two. Lucia can go there. Um, we could probably actually spread these out a bit more. You know, Marshall, like Price can maybe go here. He's still at the vision range, and he's, you know, there. I'm going to go here. Jas can go right at the back here. So this is going to be an interesting fight, because it doesn't seem to be doing much damage to them. So we're going to throw down a save, uh, just to be on the safe side. I'm wondering if the robot will get involved as well. That didn't give me enough, before, unfortunately, to go again, so I'm just going to wait. Yeah, I should be far enough away to... No, the target strike isn't worth it for the time being. Uh, let's try Lucia. He's obviously not going to be close enough to get a shot off. 
still just out of range. Oh no, don't make that noise. Damn. That was a horrible noise to have to listen to. For the rest of them, we're gonna lay an ambush, I think, from there. Uh, Marshall Kwan maybe get a bit closer. That was a lucky action. Oh, they do get close enough to actually have a hit. Oh, no, 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 not two. Not two. Fucking hell. Shit, sorry, Marshal Kwan, I was meant to be... <laughs> I wasn't my plan, I was supposed to be... Jess, then. Um... Switch to Zephyr, she should be able to do a double whammy here. Let me back away. Marshall Quan is up. Lucky Mega Crit. Not enough AP to do anything with that. Price. Uh, no, this is Lucia. Let's try Price next. Right. Poor dame to Lucia now, because if she doesn't kill this thing off, she's gonna die herself. We're back. Just kill the entire wildlife. Bear claw, junk. Bear claw and bogey. All right, can we now successfully go back? And I think we're probably going to have to. Just a daily reminder to stay away from the abandoned parts of Denver, where unseen voices whisper and dumpster divers disappear. Brrr. Spooky stuff. And now, some music. Playing a classic song again. Right, I'm gonna heal myself again. And we're gonna have to... Oh, yeah, we get it free now, don't we? Because we've got the information to give her. So she should get it for free from now on. You ain't dead yet, so that's something. You found the data you were Fantastic. For. Let me take a look. Your rifles do several pages of dot matrix printout and then stop short. Super glue. Super glue for wound closures? No shit. Never would have thought of that. Hmm. Pretty sure Forge has got a stash of this stuff. I'm gonna have to give this a try. And it looks like there's lots of other innovations here too. <laughs> Thanks, Rangers. Here's what I promised, and stop by if you need patching up. I'll waive the usual fees. Can't wait to see the look on Forge's face when I gloat. This ain't the lost and found. Hands off. Huh. All right, if you won't let me you steal her stuff, yet. just get them. So that's something. All right, can you patch us up sure for free now, please? Patch us up, then. Goodbye. Take care. All right. Now, before we go and deal with Ronald Reagan slash turn the Gipper as hostile on us by stealing their guard and sending them to the machine commune, I'm going to basically level up all my characters, hop back in the car, and then we're going to go find this Gipper ambush or attack that's on its way here. Seems like the smartest thing to do. Right, so first up, let's do the levels. Well, that's the level ups done. Um, haven't really done anything special. Me, I didn't have a level up yet. Jess, I just bumped up her sneaky shit one more. Topped up her awareness. She does more range damage bonus. She also has a perk, but I've got nothing I really want to put it in yet. 
or maybe this when I get to level 10 in sniper rifles because that is going to be a hell of a useful perk. She could just continually ambush to her heart's content. Uh, price. I just leveled up his automatic weapons. I know everything's the same level. Also bumped up his speed a little bit to bring it on par with everything else. Zephyr. Uh, bumped up her small arms, I think it was. She didn't have a perk. Attributes wise, just bumped up her luck because obviously we know luck is extremely useful. Marshall Quam didn't have a perk. Bumped up his weird science. Now he's kind of like sits on everything, so he's kind of a kind of a jack of all trades essentially when it comes to that. And then when bumped up his coordination, so more action points. And then Lucia didn't have a perk. Skills wise, I haven't decided what I want to stick her other skill into yet. Maybe continue boosting weapon modding just for the extra scrap, I guess. I don't really know. Just yet. And attributes wise, I bumped up her. Bumped up something that was so important, I can't even remember what it was. So, yeah, that's pretty much this done. So, let's go and find this ambush. Don't answer. We're on our way. So basically, yeah, as we're leaving, they arrived. So Ronald Reagan here would have been extremely helpful, but never mind, eh? There's a dead person there. I'm not sure who that is. My car gets involved in this fight as well, I'm pretty sure. So let's set this up right. So individual, go just there, Marshall Kwan, here, <clears throat> me, I'm gonna go over here I think. <clears throat> one Godfisher stands out, the one who was released by Mother Nancy Reliant. She is staring up into the Do sky. Do you see them, oh gods of the sky? Do you see their pride? They stand among those who we've shorn of life, of limb, and they think they can escape. Ha! <laughs> who the fuck are you talking to? We're the only... We're gonna, only gonna say this word, surrender. Hey, we're standing right here. Attack. It's a shame your gods live in the sky because you're about to put you in the glen. <laughs> who the fuck are you we talking send to? send them to you, oh gods, soaring on our kites. So that you will bless us with tender rain and bury our enemies in killing snow. He lowers her head, looking at you, oh, grinning. The other. Um, Heathens are exposed! Well, they're doing fuck all to them, aren't they? Let's be honest. They're doing no damage whatsoever. Well, apart from that guy, that guy did a little bit. And the Gipper is now having a go. You not got enough turrets down the radar, you know me? By how good they're proving themselves to be. This might not be an easy fight when we turn on them. What? Why? Oh, fuck. Yeah, sorry. That was my fault. I attacked the... the Gipper turret. Bollocks. I didn't want to do that just yet. But yeah, as I was going to say, you know the sad thing is? That if this situa situation ever came about in real life, you know, like, um... 
this wasteland three like you know end of the world bollocks. The sad thing is there would actually be people like that in real life. You sad fuckers who worship some make-believe god in the sky and then will chop up people and put them on kites and stuff. Yeah, you can just guarantee some fucking weirdo It's gonna do that. Marshall Kwan. Oh well, yeah, we get, we know we get the first strike, which is going to be a bit better. Um, Zephyr, can you launch a grenade that far? I wonder. Because that would be a fair. Oh, we can. Nice. The worrying thing is here, we've got to be careful who we hit, but the Gippers don't. The Gippers are quite happy to just to wail on us for fucking ages. And um, ambush here. The They're not going to come for us, but. Ooh, that was a good hit. Alright, here come the Gipper. Lesson learned, don't attack their turret. They so just literally hit their own turret and nobody gives a shit. Where are you going, Provost? Alright, does that one do? And then... Just a simple case of wailing on them while they're there. Um... So you might as well Go back here and then we'll set up another ambush in case they get closer again. I have to be careful. So badly. Um, my target's blocked. That target's out of range. I mean, can we... Set up an ambush then. I don't want to get too close and I don't want to get too involved because you just know I'll make a mistake again. Definitely need a boost on your uh, aiming. Too much movement going on. Or that was a good grenade. Good placement. I'm impressed. 
the gods! Vengeance! Mr. Burns, a sapper devotion! Oh, fuck off. Burn in there. Oh, that guy. Okay. Why would you go for that guy and not these? Plant Provost. <laughs> no, you gotta reload already. <laughs> Provost does one thing and has to reload. Um, see, again, I can't shoot anyone because fucking turrets in the way, so I can't, literally, cannot get involved. Um, just ambush again. Be the car. Wait. Um. Who's oh, this? Is Jess now? Could she hit anybody? I don't think she can. Can she? No. She's literally stuck where she is. She can't move. So what's we'll that ambush again? Price. Zephyr here. Maybe a grenade. But then I'll hit the turret. Smile less like wow. No, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to get too close, so I'm just gonna wait here in ambush. March with Quan. Come back in. Maybe get a pot shot. And then come back. She's got some protection, and then it's just Price left now who's gonna. The med darts would be all right here, <laughs> but the best I could do is an ambush. My car is in the way in order to stop me from actually being able to, being able to push forward. So keep attacking the turrets, mate. It's good for me. shot and has to reload. Um, Alright, let's switch to the car for a minute. You can push forward a little bit. And then push back. So people can get around. Um, Zephyr. Go there. And wait in ambush. Price. Might not be worth healing just purely because it's nearly the end of the fight. Lucia. Jess. Jess literally can't do shit. So we'll go hide behind the turret. Actually, no, let's move Lucia. And then we'll move Jess. Yeah, so she should be, should be able to get a shot off in the future. Uh, price. I'm a bit worried you're going to... Kind of 
mess yourself up here, but oh well. I'm out of ammo. That was my last round. I put it to good use. Well, they're still waiting on the gippers for the moment. More of them that die. Easier it is for me after this fight. Well, that's a sniper. Provo's gonna finish him off. No time to dance back and forth. <laughs> what the fucking hell was the fight in that, mate? Alright, Price, you should be able to finish this Gipper off now, right? Yes, good man. So, just one left. Well, actually, two left. No, one left. All the way over here. So now we got to make our long run. I still want to leave myself guarded, it's so. uh, me. I'm not going to be able to do nothing because. I uh, literally have nothing, so... Well, that was a lucky action. Maybe I can. Right, that's where the 5 AP ends. So... Uh, let's see if we can... That was a miss. Still fall in the leadership range. Jess can get right up here as well. That was a lucky action. Go for the finish then. Oh, not quite. A Gipper is gonna die. Literally, literally every gipper in the fucking area is storming towards it. You see, uh, not quite. Can you? Missed. 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 Are you fucking serious? All right, Jess. Show me how it's done. to reload then. 5 AP to reload the sniper rifle. Okay. Come on, Marshall. Come on, they're going to make you do it, mate. 1 AP. He's left on. Funny, but... 1 yeah. HP. Left on. <laughs> Loot bag. I'm surprised Lucia missed 3, though. Alright, so we got teeth and rope. Uh, we got repair kit, an injury kit, and a photo. Necklace, necklace. Not in charge, handwriting. Glad I finally met you, mummy. I'm glad you weren't dead like they said. And rubbish. Rubbish and ammo. We got a waste dweller helmet. Perfect headgear for keeping the dust and snow out of your eyes. Eight armor, 50 cold resistance. And you got an incinerator flamethrower. Some money... Healing items and whatever else. Ammo and healing. Scrap. Scrap med hypo. Scrap. Scrap. Money. Hypo. Scrap. Scrap.
Alright, so we save the gippers then. Wonder how that would have went if we had Ronald Reagan with us. So yeah, that should be the end of it now, shouldn't it? That one. Uh completed mission. Yeah, basically. Alright, that's the end of that one then. Let's go heal myself again. Since it's free, and they're going to turn on us in a moment. Why are you pointing a gun at me? Would you like to stop pointing a gun at me? You ain't dead yet, so that's something. Sure thing. Get on with it then. Take care. Alright, and then before we go in there, I think it's probably best that we address our ammo and level up situation as well, so I'll quickly do that. Now, due to the lovely abundance of scrap we had, I crafted some more sniper ammunition, so we got quite a few now. Crafted like 250 760 rounds, so we should be more than enough for a long time now, and we also crafted some 556 for Marshall Quan. Energy cells are a little bit more expensive. So for now we're leaving with the with the 556. Also adjusted everybody's levels quickly. They, nobody had any new levels up. It was just the where I reloaded it from earlier on. When we got ambushed by the Gippers after doing it then. Um it wasn't saved, so. I had to just basically redo everybody's again. I've also saved it ready for the fight that we're inevitably going to have right now. As you can see, we've got heavy machine gun turrets in here. We've also got a few gippers. Valor Buchanan's shitting his pants there. We've also got Mother Nancy who's pointing a gun directly at us. Oh, while I remember what I must do, because this is going to be the turning point on where the Gippers become hostile to me. So, what I must remember to do is go and speak to the guy Salinster. Because I'm pretty sure once they've turned hostile to me, I will no longer be able to buy that um, armor from them that I want for... Marshall Quan, so... You passed the commune repair data to that sniveling traitor, Wyman? You may not be commies, but you're no true Americans. Sure, have a look. Suck my ass, bitch. Yeah, this here. It costs 136... I've got enough to buy it now. And it's going to be a massive boost for Marshall Quan, so... I don't see why I wouldn't buy it. Gonna make you cry inside spending that much money, but still. We must have something we can give them back instead, right? A submachine gun. I'm going to sneeze. Fucking hell! It come out of nowhere. My nose exploded. That's a sniper rifle. That's an incinerator flamethrower. Is that better than the one I'm currently using? I don't know. We'll just leave it at that for a minute. I mean, it's, we're not in desperate need of... ...money, I don't suppose, because now we've realised we can craft ammunition like dumbasses. So he's currently wearing plus six armour, and if we give him this, it's another extra ten. Plus a healing bonus and resistance to poison, so it's kind of a no-brainer. I wonder what it looks like. Fucking hell! Where do we get the trousers from then? I don't know. The trousers must be a massive boost as well, really. I'm just curious as to what they give. I mean, he's got plus three armor on his legs at the moment. If you get the Chemtech ones, that might be 13 or some shit. Anyway... Uh, my flamethrower is 21 to 31 damage. The incinerator flamethrower is 66 to 96 damage. Why the fuck am I not using that? Oh, 
That seems very silly. Uh, you can have the... Yeah, you can have that sniper rifle because at the end of the day, it's a good backup weapon. You might not be able to do quite as much damage with it because you're not specced up, but you never know. Uh, what she's currently using the auto thingy or the frostbite one, which is 58 to 71. That's all right. So the frostbite is better. Um, I'm pretty sure that's everything for the time being. Oh, yeah, what we need to do also, yes, yeah, so I've got machine gun turrets. Perfect, All right. Speak to me. Welcome back, Rangers. What do you need? I need you to shut up, take my stuff. Have this army flamethrower that we no longer need. Have this, which we no longer need. Uh, I'm going to keep this outfit just because it's hilarious. That requires four strength, six armor. We could sell that for better stuff now. We've got tank stuff as well. How much do yellow snowballs cost? How much do they sell for? They sell for nothing. Just check it, sell one of them. No. Oh, that's because you say a good way of cheesing it. If you could sell it for one, you could just go around collecting like a million snowballs and just sell them. We have a ro robot slicer dicer now we can use in a tough fight. Uh, that's pretty much everything. All right. Now let's go and upset the gippers and tell them to suck my ass. I also better quickly save it before so we don't have to do all that again. And we're obviously going to get into a fight here, so let's space out my characters. Jess, you can sit somewhere over here. Actually, no, over here. Price. Might be good going there. Zephyr. Actually, Price can go there. Zephyr can go here. Marshall Quan. Maybe tuck him up over here somewhere. Although he's got his new armor, so he might be alright in the middle somewhere, like here. Lucia. Over here. That seems alright. And I'll go in the middle here. Fuck Exemplary it, I'll face them all. work, Rangers. I really didn't think you'd manage to recover the module. But Ronnie said to have faith. Oh my god! You've got it! He also said you convinced those commie robots at the airport to give it to you of their own free will. I don't know why you bothered. Now, no, I don't know why I bothered before either. we fulfill our side of the deal, we must complete the transfer. This won't take long. Valor! Prepare the transfer equipment and prepare yourself to receive the God President's holy essence. Soon you will be a living God. Everything is ready, Mother Nancy Reliant. This will be the greatest day of my life! Until the day when you inherit Saul Buchanan's throne, for then it will be the God President who sits in it, thus increasing the holdings of the Gippers a hundredfold in a single stroke. Now, I was going to say, she's got a, a warp plan here. She's brainwashed him because... They're obviously going to put him inside of him. But if they put him inside of him, then obviously Valor is no longer going to be in there, is he? Yeah. My father always said I'd never be a great leader. Ha! I will be the greatest! Yes, sir. Uh, seems great, but you'll need to follow our instructions exactly, otherwise the module won't work. You lied to us, you said Valor was helping you, and then he'd be released. 
So their plan then, by the sounds of it, is to put him inside of him, but then release him to us. But with Ronnie inside it. So then he can take over the Colorado. No way the Patriot except Reagan and Valor's body stop us now and we start shooting. We're going to kill him anyway. As long as you turn on the oil for Colorado, do what you want. Right, we're going to go with Kiss Ash just because it gives us a bit of experience. Your eagerness surprises me, Rangers. But of course, it's natural you would come around. This was Ronnie's divine plan. And you've seen the depravity of the machine commune. Valor, it's time. Yeah, plus if we do it our way, now, we can then Rangers, put the module thingy into the so computer to start. and it will be the most delicious of ironies to send have the him to the machine Give life to the leader who will eclipse him. Just connect the module to this console and we'll begin. Console screen flickers as a large port opens with a clip. You tap the key and battered console screen flickers on. Project. Being mortal, complex, master terminal, no modules detected. Plug in the cybernetic, attack, examine the terminal slot. We might as well examine it. The right size for a device, almost as if it was made for it. it Maybe only may be the only original piece of the machine left. Everything else looks like it's been replaced at some point. Plug it in. Scanning, cybernetic, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. It's ready, Rangers. <clears throat> All you have to do is push the button. Either the machine's working, or we're having a disco. It's ready, Rangers. All we have to do is... Oh, she's always said that. Amazing! I can feel him! I can feel his mind all around me! Warning. Human brain detected. Warning. Do not disable safety protocols. Unprotected network. Humans may experience discomfort, light confusion, and or brain death. Ignore that. The safety protocols must be turned off for the transfer to begin. What? And here's where we get our choice. We can transfer Reagan into Valor and disable the safety protocols. We could transfer Reagan to the machine commune. Or we could transfer Reagan to Ranger HQ. I'm not going to do this because I need Valor. I'm not going to do this because we obviously know Reagan doesn't work properly. And I don't want him to fuck up my Ranger HQ. So we're going to send him to the machine commune. Stop! What are you doing? You didn't disable the safety protocols. Transfer initiated. Something is wrong. wrong, wrong. I'm not... Where am, am I? Transfer complete. Rangers, what have you done? Where is my Ronnie? Up my ass. Oh no, shit. Jess. Jess and I have switched places for some reason. So now she's in the middle of the battlefield. Traitors! Communists! You will die for this! Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, so, as expected, they've all turned on me, so we need to... Can I get... Ah, oh, I have to get price if I do that. Um, <laughs> take some cover. Um, oh, the party bots joined us. Party pal. Uh, I really don't know what cannon turret. Twenty-five percent chance the target goes berserking. Target's damage. That's probably it. Oh, that was a shit ton of damage anyway. Yes. <laughs> the one I want her to hit, she misses. Oh, there we go. Much better. Right. So that's that cannon turret taken away. She can. Ooh, love it. 
Bryce, you're gonna have to cheer so she can move away, mate, because I need her to be in cover and... That's a bit better. Uh, I still can't do anything, so I'm gonna wait there. Can we demoralize both of these? No, we can't. Can we demoralize her at least? No. Yes. And then I'll have to wait because I can't do nothing else. Um. Got a single shot. That Marshal Quan is now up. We'll go for the turret. There we go, reduce its damage as well. Alright, let's see what's going on there. Right, shoot me, I don't care. You missed. Now leave Jess alone. Holy shit! My guns. Fuck me, she messed up Lucia. How has she done that? Man, she messed up. Messed up Lucia, good and proper. Um. Lucky crit. Uh, Bryce, how long is it? It's going to take you seven to go over there, is it? All right, we'll do that then. That was with a demoralize as well, man. Like, she did all of that with a demoralize. Seventy-three percent, or should we go for that's out of range? So we're gonna have to go for this one then. The problem is Lucia is gonna go straight back down again, isn't she? Ready for vengeance. Ooh! Take hey, fuck off, mate. Leave me alone. Go on then, Lucia. Oh well, now she's good for price this time. Alright, Jess, you're up. What are your chances of hitting that? Oh, that was me. Whoops. <laughs> uh -oh. I'll take it. We're going ambush as well, because I don't want a 7% on that. Let's, let's make Lucia do it. Harm. Don't hurt me! What do you want, don't hurt me? You're under arrest, but taking you home to see your daddy. Sorry, you're too stupid to live, sir. So. You're under arrest. No. No. How is he bending like that? Copy November 1. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. We've placed Valor Buchanan under arrest. Dispatch a team to Denver. Clear copy, November 1. Are there hostiles in the area? I'd say so. Affirmative, don't worry. We'll take care of them. Unclear. Hold off until we secure the area. Looks... Clear from here, we're standing when we're out. Right. Yeah, we'll take care of them. Stay frosty, November. From what we're hearing on the radio, you've just kicked a very angry hornet's nest. What a shame. An extraction team is Oscar Mike, November 1. You'll need to clear a path to Valor Buchanan before we go in. Yeah, no worries on that, but right. First things first. 
Uh, let's switch singly to Jess for a minute. Because I noticed there's a container at the back here. Which is a tape, money, and rubbish. People do rather get the wrong idea about us. I can't say I mind. Let us be underestimated and ridiculed. They think our Ronnie is dead and never coming back. And they are wrong. They accuse us of seeing communists in every shadow, and, well, they are right. But so are we. Make no mistake, dears. We are surrounded by the vestiges of the evil empire. They have turned our great nation into an irradiated graveyard, and they expect us to weep. But we are steel, sisters. We... I don't really care about that. Star... <clears throat> Star Station Wars. What? Small screen pops up. Missiles streak from Dame Spake. Strike the planet below. Watch your way. You're supposed to stop that. <laughs> oh, okay. Didn't know what that was, but oh well. Right, yeah. First things first, we're going to take Price and we're going to heal. So we heal me because I took a beating. <sighs> Started with nothing. Still got it. Heal Jess, because she took a beat in. And we will heal Price himself, because he took a beat in. And we might as well heal Lucia, because she took a beat in. There you go. Also, we have to use an injury kit. Wait, invalid target? Is Lucia. Um. No. Yeah, she has her own injury. Shell shot. So. Um. There we go. She should be up. She's all clear now. Sweet. Everybody's got to now full heal and ready to go because we're going to have to fight our way out of here with no healing because I guarantee you that doctor has turned on us as well. So. Bring everybody together. Hey! Fuck me, there's a guy right there. <laughs> there's a guy right there. Well, this might be a good idea, actually. We're all good at this save here. I want to try something. Put everybody back down there a minute. And then we'll bring Jess singularly up here. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as always. If you did, then please consider leaving a like or a sub. It is greatly appreciated, but you don't have to, of course. It's entirely up to you. It just helps me out and helps my channel grow. Most of all, though, a massive thank you to those of you who are watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.